Good evening, council members. Good evening. Wow, that discussion on the utility rates and the other rates. Um, I heard some things, and I want to make comments on them. I heard a comment that we have to value, have a value to the improvements in our quality of life. And I think most of us would agree with that. But let's take that and let's move back a little bit. The renewable portfolio. It came out that it was actually the council of the city of Burbank that first started that before the state of California jumped on board. I guess I could say either we started the bad idea or they destroyed the good idea, depending on how you look at it. But let's look at what's happened since that. We've heard Ron Davis over the last few years comment that the result of that renewable portfolio has in fact and I've heard it as well from Mr. Davis, said that it's produced energy that we can't use and we don't need. I believe it was two or three weeks ago that he responded to this council that we actually are selling some of that portfolio power at a loss because we don't need it and we can't use it. Now, there was some talk among the five of you for some suggestions, and I want to make a few suggestions. First, why would anyone think if we have invested in this renewable portfolio and the idea is to value the improvements to our quality of life with renewables, why would we want to be spending money encouraging people to use less of the renewable power? In fact, one of you made the comment, we want to encourage the use of renewable energy. The fact of the matter is, we're spending ratepayer money with rebates and things to encourage people to use less power. Now, some of you may remember it wasn't that many years ago that the state of California talked about brownouts and everyone needed to save energy. Stop and think for a minute. When's the last time you heard the state say that or heard those commercials? It's been a while, hasn't it? But yet, the city of Burbank continues to promote people using less energy to the point where what's happened is we have an excess and we're selling it at a loss. That has resulted in us increasing rates every year. And then saying to the rate payers, well, yeah, you're going to use less and it's going to cost you more, but just get used to it. That's the way of life. No, it's not the way of life, and no, it's not a good business model. In fact, think about what a crappy business model it is. As we've continued to raise those rates, now we've got two people, rather biggies in town, upset with us, named Disney and Ikea, who, what's their solution? They want to put in their own fuel cells and generate their own power, don't they? And did that send panic through city staff, through BWP, and through all of you? Because, my gosh, we could lose hundreds of thousands of dollars. What would be the solution? Well, the solution would have to be massive increases on those who were left. Well, I got news for you. That is, as I'm going to say it again, a crappy business model. Because what we're doing is we're investing in something that we say is good, but then we're investing to tell people not to use it. Then we're selling it at a loss on the open market. And what do you think is going to start happening with customers? Do you think Disney and Ikea might not be alone? Others might follow suit? I think we all know they might. I'm not criticizing Mr. Davis, and I'm not criticizing BWP. I guess if I'm criticizing anyone, I'm criticizing the two legislative bodies here in Sacramento. Because in a way... BWP is a business. Yeah, it's an enterprise zone. Yeah, it's part of government. Yeah, the citizens of Burbank own it. But it's a business. Now ask yourself, what kind of business model produces excess product, electric, sells it at a loss while spending money to encourage people not to use it? And they say that because they're saving, they're saving the environment, but the reality is the power is renewable, and that does save the environment. Something's upside down and backward in this formula. And I think we've got to seriously start looking at that, and I think we have to seriously start correcting it. Because if we continue to address it merely by raising rates, we will kill the utility. Thank you.